Yeah, uh, well, this is my views on pretty much how, you know, the whole situation with dogs are. You know, uh, they have, like, the, this is a big controversy. So you have, basically, these, they call them um, man, um, man killers, right? These dogs that basically are, you know, too powerful. Too powerful of a breed for men to have, and only certain um, individuals should have them. And it'll, I think, you know, that argument is correct, but uh, it's correct to an extent. I think that a lot of times we have sort of like these people that do police training for dogs, and uh, they do a lot of different um, obedience training courses for service dogs, for for uh, uh, rescue dogs. They do a lot of rescues, and I think they see a lot of you know dogs who've been neglected, who've had bad owners, uh, who were never trained. Uh, dogs that are pretty big and man, they call them man stoppers. They're very powerful and very uh, aggressive. Dogs had some mental issues, but the majority of the dogs just were just left alone and not socialized, and uh, were sort of never you know train right uh, so they deal with a lot of problem dogs and uh you know it's not really problem dogs it's problem owners but they've dealt with it so their mind frame their their minds basically are you know certain dogs just should be banned certain dogs are bad but we can have them and only uh police can have them but we but no one else should be, should be having these dogs it's sort of like a, a ego driven thing where they, they, they makes them feel good that they're the only ones that can have these dogs it's that's very very much more complicated that it's not as black and white as they put it out to be. But uh, definitely, I mean, you have a lot of people who buy these powerful breeds and they just want them for looks. It's to scare people, it's to keep people out of your home, uh, to intimidate people because, you know, it's sort of like, you know, they're, they're, they're afraid of, you know, they're not, you know, very insecure. And they use that, using the pet as an as a, as a outlet for insecurities, which uh, is just silly. I mean, you see them walking around. I used to see them walking around and, in the city and they had the tank tops on and they're walking with their bullies and walking with their pits and you know walking with their rottweilers just trying to intimidate people and it's it's a big you know a big cock fest and, and it's, it's silly to see because uh these dogs by nature if they're raised right it would be great family dogs no matter what kind of breed it is uh, as long as you train them you stay on top of their training and you train them in the right way and you know the psychology of dogs uh how they feel you know the, the certain movements they make and behaviors that they make to show you what their you know the dog is feeling, uh, and I think that and it's basically consistency in the training. And I think a lot of people don't care about that; they just want wonderful looks. And certain breeds have suffered for that, you know, pit bulls and Rottweilers and Cane Corse, County Corsos. Uh, yeah, they've they've we've had those issues. So uh, you know, it's it's it is. They say it's the owner; it's not the breed. It is it's the owner, but uh, the breed, you know. It does. Their larger breeds are powerful and they can hurt people. So, uh, yes, not everyone should have them. I don't think they should be banned. I don't think it's a psychological trait where dogs are just bad the type of breed it is. But uh, just it goes by power and size. The bigger the dog, the uh, more dangerous it can be. You know. So uh, think about it. It could be a mid-sized dog or a smaller mid-sized dog. Um, it can maybe get lucky and hit your neck or hit an artery or something, right? And can take you down, but very rare. But any dog can really harm someone. But the powerful breeds are more likely to hurt you. So, yes, it takes more responsibility, but it doesn't mean that they should be outlawed and banned because there's so many bad owners not training them right. So, uh, you know. Uh, and it's also just, you know, I'm toting my horn thing with some of these trainers out there saying you can't own these breeds, but I can have one, but you can't. It's, it's really silly. Uh, it's, you know, if someone's responsible, they know how to train dogs, and they respect what type of breed the dog is that it can be a dangerous dog and because it's big enough to hurt some really bad and but they train it right uh it, you know they have you know that person should not be um get permission for someone else just because they're a, more of a professional dog trainer